Day and Dinette people. Uh, this is a video that we were planning on keeping a little bit further off, but we figured that since we're a bit quiet at the moment, now is a fairly decent time to go in and do it. So, what we've got here is a big pile of booster packs. Um, it goes from the start of the reboot era, and we go all the way up to Raging Tactics. One, at least one of every single set from the start with AL4, oh, sorry, Q4, all the way up to Raging Tactics. Uh, we were going to carry this on, but we think it's nicely capped at the moment because obviously we're into the Shin arc from set 7 onwards. Um, and we don't know quite how long that's exactly going to have or how many sets. And these have been sitting around for absolutely ages now, some of these. <laughs> like This one's been around for at least a year now. So uh, we think, is it a year? Is it, if it's not at least a year, it's, yeah, it must be coming up on two years since the reboot was announced. Who knows? Anyway, so, yeah, we've got a couple of these. We've got Q4. We've got the Destructive Roar. We've got Champions of the Asia Circuit. Uh, strongest Team AL4. We've got a few packs of Psyqualia Strife. We've got Ultra Rare, Ultra Rare Miracle Collection. The Answer of Truth. Miyagi Academy CF Club, Violist Deleter, Primary Melody, Light of Salvation, Logic of Destruction, The Heroic Evolution, My Glorious Justice, Aerial Z Liberation, Phantasmal Steed Restoration, and The Raging Tactics. So this goes all the way up. This is basically all of the sets that you can get hold of in the Vanguard EX game. So that's kind of nicely ca capping off that little era of Vanguard um, and obviously with the Shin arc now that's kind of like a new era-ish of the reboot it's still standard but it feels like a new start almost so we think it's a nice time to go through and have a look and do this unboxing so let's just go in shall we let's start off we'll go in date order oldest first so this was a little promo Q4 special pack that you got as a box topper with the first Q4 set. Um, now these are the only promo packs we've actually got. Our locals never did get any other promo packs in, with not the single packs or anything like that. So unfortunately, I can't open a bunch of promos for you, but here we go. We've got extra muscular and a Kemui gift marker in that one. So you had one card and an accompanying gift marker in these packs. So pretty nice. Let's see who we get in this one. It looks like we've got Aichi in this one because we've got Snowgirl and Aichi Sendo Force Marker. So pretty nice little promo packs they were. Nice things to start off even though the cards in there weren't particularly great even straight away. Uh, maybe some of the cards will become good in time, who knows. Um, so Unite Team Q4 We'll get went in. Let's have a look. So this set had a Royal Paladin Kagro, Oracle Think Tank, and Nova Grappler. Um, brought us Alfred, Dragonic Waterfall, CEO Amaterasu, and Perfect Riser. So here we go. So we've got Shooting Hobby, Flight Luck, Gyro or Giro, Cannonball. Turbo Razor. First rare is Funeral Girl and CEO Amaterasu. We've got a triple rare. Uh, Amaterasu, obviously, Misaki's kind of key card alongside Imperial Daughter. So that's a nice one to pull. There's a nice bit of nostalgia straight off the bat. So pleased with that. That's a, a lovely way to start this video, I think. So next up. The Destructive Roar. So this had three clans, Spike Brothers, Tajikaze and Mega Colony. Uh, so obviously you have got General Seafried, you got Machining Spark Hercules I think, and I guess that would be like Giga Rex or something. Uh, I don't think this set particularly took off. Mega Colony was quite scary to fight against but it was never really, this one didn't set the world alight particularly. So we've got Small Captain Butterfly Officer, Savage Raider, Bumming Tailback, Lava Mutant Lava Draft, or Lava Draft, 
Medical Battler Rampley. First rare is Delusional Mutant Dazzlemar. And the second rare is a single rare Attempt Mammoth. So, nothing particularly from that set. We next move on to Champions of the Asia Circuit. Uh, something about the standard, there's been a lot more extra boosters than main boosters to the point where I don't know why they call them like, extra boosters anymore, they're just boosters aren't they at this point. This has got Aqua Force, Dimensional Please, Grand Blue. So Glory Maelstrom, Diusha, and uh, what did Grand Blue have? Uh, blimey, they had some dude, I can't remember the name of the, uh, the Grand Blue boss guy but it wasn't Kakaitis, I don't think. It was the other one. Anyway, we've got Violence Flanger, uh, Silbard, Norman the Ghosty, Paolo, Rick the Ghosty, Evil Shade, and we've got Double Rare Dimensional Robo Die Brave. Pretty cool. I think he still gets used. That's a nice little double there. Now we're on to the second main booster set, so it's uh, Strongest Team AL4. This set had Shadow Paladin, Dark Evangelist, Pale Moon and Murakumo. So you had things like Golden Beast Tamer, Phantom Blaster Dragon, uh, Zambaku and whatever Dark Evangelist had. <laughs> what was it? I genuinely can't remember what Dark Evangelist got in this set. Uh, you can tell which clans I cared about. We got Tragic Knight, Cathbad, Nightmare Painter, Succubus of Seductive Smile, Hoop Magician, Candy Clown, Succubus of Dedicated Love is the first rare, and Nitro Juggler for the second rare. So, just a couple of single rares there. Now we went on to an unusual booster, which was Psychoalia Strife. These are booster packs that only contain two cards, and it was only Kagero and Royal Paladin that appeared. Mostly this was reprints of trial deck cards with a few extras thrown in, like Exculpate the Blaster and Dragonic Nouvelle Vague, so... Uh, it also had gift markers with screens from the anime in there, so that's interesting. There was also full art uh, cards, uh, including foil triggers as well. Foil full art triggers, which is a very cool thing if it turns up. So there's a full art bringer of good luck opponent for uh, Royal Paladin and a foil single bear wingle. So these are very cool. I do like those. Shame we didn't really get more of that sort of thing in standard yet. Uh, Psychoalia Strife Pack 2. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> so we've got a regular uh, embodiment of spare tar and a foil, not full art, um, bringer of good luck opponent. That's still pretty cool. The triggers do look really nice with that kind of double rare foiling. Put it on the double rare pile. And the last pack of this set, we've got a Margle and Strong Knight, Runoria, who's just a perfect guard a reprint from the trial deck. So not too exciting but it's still cool. Ultra Rare Miracle Collection Extra Booster 3 had Gold Paladin, Angel Feather and Neo Nectar. So it brought us Azel, Zerakiel and um, the Neo Nectar one. <laughs> oh gosh it's, it's escaping me now but you all know what it is. Uh, it's Cecilia obviously. So we've got Dr. Oid uh, what's that? Aita, Oclini Musketeer Kira, Iris Knight, Flame of Victory, Foresight Courier, oops, ruined it now, Million Ray Pegasus for the first rare, and Wild Shot Celestial Ragwell as a second, that's the double rare. Nice card for Angel Feather, nice way to call stuff out of the drop zone. Next up, Answer of Truth, which has my favourite Leopold in it. Also, Himiko and that guy. Forget Blanagle. The set also had Hamske, Hamske Jesus, 
So we've got aiming for the stars, Artemis, the uh, starter for the Artemis ride chain as it were, well it's not really a ride chain anymore. Missing Clamp Dragon, Steam Fighter, me 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 me. Castanet Donkey, Dictionary Goat, Geograph Giant, and Wedge Move Dragon. I think that's cards considered okay in premium because it's like a ditch for stride card. But nothing super rare there. Okay, Miyagi Academy, Card Fight Club. So this was the first sort of round of updates for decks in standard. So you got Royal Paladin, Narikami, Oracle Think Tank, Nubitama, Gold Paladin. So that was the second Gold Paladin set in a row, which was nice for the Azel players. Getting Ravenhead Azel Ravenhead, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Ravenhead. Um, and you also had Monarch for the Royal Paladin. So we've got Crescent Megus, uh, Belanus, Draco Kid, Chigasumi, Tobihiko, Stella Magus is the first rare, and behind there we've got Knight of Vivaldi Brenius for the Gold Paladin. So again, nothing exciting there. Um, we don't really know what's in these packs, obviously they're still sealed, they're just random packs that we've purchased. Via Salita, the second set for the bad guys. So you got Link Joker, this was the debut of Link Joker, I think. Shadow Paladin, Dark Irregulars, Pale Moon and Murakumo. The Link Joker trial deck came out like a week before this one, I think. So... This had some nice updates for some of the clans. Unfortunately the, uh... Pale Moon VR was absolute hot trash, but that's just how it goes. We got Merchi, Jaeger, uh, Manny Bao, Micro Hole, Draco Kid, Dark Side Trumpeter, first rare is Alluring Succubus, and we've got Penetrate Deleter Iggy as the second rare. So we're on a slow burn now. We might not get any good pulls. <laughs> this might be a very disappointing video. Um, I'm not expecting anything from this. Primary Melody, the, the Bermuda Triangle only clan. Clan? Set. So, basically, fish. So let's see what we get in the fish pack. <sighs> expecting nothing. So we've got Pure Gifter, Ailujaichi. Welcome Sing, Uval. Lashar. Lena, Elena. First rare is Sugary Lordling Ravare, and oh, we've got a VR. Colourful Pastoral Fina. So we've got a VR. There we go. Is she the good one? I don't know if she's a good one or not. I think she's probably one of the ones that's not got much value. But nonetheless, that's pretty nice. It's an attractive looking card, so can you pop that one down there? We have actually got a VR. Unexpected. Next we go into Light of Salvation, Logic of Destruction. This had Royal Paladin, Link Joker, Kago, and Nova Grappler. So this had the uh, Brandt deck and the Messianic Lord Blaster. So we got Beast Deity, White Tiger. That's right, the Beast Deities came back. Alinam, Walid, Yuri, Lady Healer for Torn World, oops. Uh, Meganton Powerdon, and Starhook Letter Look. I pulled about 700 of this guy, so. It, that was probably the most common of the double R's in the entire set, in my experience, so. Eh, I guess. The Heroic Evolution. This was another set with Link Joker in, there was like tons of Link Joker all of a sudden at this point. Kagero and Nova Grappler. So, hot on the heels of the previous set, with much the same clans, just minus the Royal Paladin basically. So we've got a Neon Messiah, Spinodal Dragon, Dragonite Nasa, Blabber, a Wallboy, Calderon Wing is the first rare, and we've got a double rare. Red Dive Griffin. Now we go to the support for Aquaforce, Grand Blue, and the Witcher Police with My Glorious Justice. Nice set, very bright packaging on this one. I like the uh, like neon green. 
That's very, uh, very bright, very aqua forcey. So what do we get? We've got Bleb Bummer Dragon, Little Hero Draco Kid, Blue Wings of Empathy Macarios, Despina, Army Penguin, Blue Wings of Faith Bacilla. I do like the Blue Wings stuff. It'd be really nice if they did get a Grade Three. Um, they actually had a Grade Three to call their own that kept the restand. That deck could become very, very good, especially if it had a way to recycle heals. And we've got Carol Assault. Well, that's a good pull. That's uh, one of the more um, valuable Aqua Force cards. So that's a nice pull, triple there. Very nice indeed. Indeed, indeed. Getting near the end. We're up to Aerial Steed Liberation, where Ganslot returned. You also have Oracle Think Tank, Narikami, Nubitama, and Gold Paladin support in this set. So, let's see how this one's looking. Loading Angel. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. Ravioli Magus. Fortune Bell. Greeting Drummer. We've got Land Shocker Dragon. And. Powerful Sage, Byron. We're getting a lot of double rares at least, so that's something. Aerial Steed, nope. Phantasmal Steed Restoration, it's right there, I should have read it. We've got Shadow Paladin, Dark Irregulars, Pale Moon, and Murakumo, so no Link Joker this time around. I guess they figured Link Joker had, had enough supports by this point. So we've got a Silver Thorn, because obviously Lukie was back with this set. Sanji, Mega Wing, Magician, Romy, very very good card, and Demne. Very interesting card that one. If you haven't seen what he does, have a look at the uh, skill there. That's very very different to what you normally see on Vanguard cards. It's unusual. And finally, the Raging Tactics, the final set of the Aichi years, as it were. Not that anyone in the anime, I don't think, really used any of these cards before it went over to the Shin arc, because the anime went so fast, this set basically just sort of snuck in between the two things. This has the support for Spike Brothers, Tajikaze, and Mega Colony, the second wave of standard support for those clams. So, last pack. Let's see what we can do. We've got Flat Ray, that guy, Gelled Slug, Shagal Tiara, Shelter Beetle, oops, Machining Lady Bomber, and Gun Wild Wolf, double rare for Spike Brothers. So there we go, that was it. We've opened one of every set from Standard all the way through the IG series from the reboot all the way up to the Raging Tactics. And what did we get? So we got one VR for Bermuda Triangle. We got Fina from Colourful Pastoral. We got two triple letters. That's a Coral Assault and a CEO Amaterasu. And for double rares, if you don't count that, we got Gun Wild Wolf, Powerful Sage by that, Red Dive Griffin, Starhook Letter Look. Wild Shot Celestial, Ragwell, and Die Brave. So, there we go. That was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. Um, it's a bit of content for you to enjoy, so we thought now was a nice time to go through and open these packs. Um, partly because we also haven't had a chance to get hold of any of the booster packs from set 7. I don't know if we'll actually get a chance to even open any of those so i hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and we will hope to see you again very soon thanks for watching internet people bye kabooey here thanks for watching draw the trigger here's another video you might enjoy